I was at the, um, the American Embassy at the time in Tokyo, and I volunteered to be part of the first team that went in there. And um, it really was a searing experience to see the suffering of, of, of so many people. But at the same time, I, I really experienced the resilience of, of Japanese people and the communities and how strong these community ties are. And, um, and to go back to Kobe now um, and see how wonderfully uh, it's been rebuilt and the vision that, that, the, that the people in Kobe um, showed in, in rebuilding and while respecting their history. And um, I think that was, that was really very meaningful to me. But um, the power of nature is, it's a, it's a frightening thing. Um, and um, I admire the heroic efforts of, of the Japanese people that, that helped um, people in, in Kobe and Awajishima and, and other communities after the, after the earthquake. And um, for, the, for 311, um, I, when I, as a diplomat and now as a private person, um, I make a point of, of continuing to do in a small way what I can to to show um, support for the people in Tohoku um, because they also went through an, an unspeakable, unspeakable tragedy. I really respect Ambassador Kennedy. She was a, she's a wonderful uh, person and uh, a great public servant and it was, it was a great privilege to uh, work for her as her deputy. Um, and for um, the historic event in Hiroshima, um, it was an honor for me to be there, to, to help organize the event and then to, to be there to witness, to witness this. And I'll cherish those memories for forever. Um, but as I look at um, uh, an event like that, I also reflect on the many, many thousands of Japanese and Americans who worked over many, many years to support friendship between our, our peoples. And these were, um, and in some ways, this is one of the fruits of that, of that effort by many, many people. And as a diplomat, I had the opportunity to hear directly from people both Americans and Japanese, of how their encounter with um, people you know, from the other country uh, enriched their lives, changed their lives. And uh, I've met people who, because of a kindness that was done to them um, many, many decades ago, they're still supporting exchange students or um, supporting charitable activities or uh, supporting uh, relationships between sister cities. and. And I find that um, very touching to to hear those. So I think, I, you know, I think it's important to to honor as well all those people who have done so much over so many years.